When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars, which you have set in place, the words of Psalm 18.3 resonated deep within me as I read them, a spark of awe igniting in my soul. I closed my eyes, and the words became a vision. I was floating, weightless, in the vast expanse of the cosmos. Stars, like diamonds scattered across black velvet, blazed around me, their light echoing the brilliance of the Creator. Galaxies, swirling with unimaginable power, stretched out in every direction, each a testament to the boundless creativity of God. And then, a humbling realization washed over me. I was nothing, a speck of dust in the grand scheme of things. Earth, my home, a tiny blue marble in the vastness of space, seemed insignificant compared to the scale of the universe. What is man that you are mindful of him, and the son of man that you care for him? The words of verse 4 echoed in my heart. Who am I, a creature of dust, that the creator of the universe would even notice me? Yet, as I pondered this question, a profound truth began to dawn. He, the one who created the heavens and the earth, the one who set the stars in their courses, the one who holds the galaxies in his hand, had chosen to dwell in me. He had come to earth, not as a conquering king, but as a humble servant, to live, to love, and to die for me. A wave of gratitude washed over me. The universe, with all its splendor and wonder, paled in comparison to the love of a god who would choose to care for a creature as insignificant as me. This realization, this revelation, touched the deepest part of my soul, filling me with a sense of awe and wonder, a gratitude that knew no bounds.